Oh yeah, I got it! I got it! <laughs> Going insane on Cookie Clicker? Need something to satisfy your cravings for the golden cookie? Then you must be experiencing the Cookie Conundrum! The podcast about all things Cookie Clicker. Um, yes? Hello? Cookies! And welcome back to the Cookie Conundrum. This is JBJ Blaze. And this is recorded on April the 10th, 2014. I have not done this one in a long, a long, long, long run. Um, I've been focusing on other stuff and trying to keep up with Blaze on Asian, which, as you can probably tell by the feed and all that, it has not been keeping up well. But, um, I've been doing quite a bit of my YouTube and some of my music as well as school stuff. B big time on the school stuff and YouTube. But, um, yeah, that's the reason why there hasn't been an episode since, I believe, 2013. So, this, welcome to the first Episode of the Cookie Conundrum for 2014. <laughs> there you have it. And let's get to, um, should I call it Sidewalk Talk? No. Let's call this something. I will come up with something. We keep crunching cookies all day long. I like that. So... In the past week, I've gotten the one show Blaze on Nation released, as well as I was finally able to get to Blazy, Blazy Log number 8 last night. And tonight, guess who's on the shaft? Surfadora! By the way, Surfadora, if you are listening to this, which I doubt you will be, but, um,. You should play Koki Cloaker. It's a great game. I highly recommend it. And I'm actually playing it right here as a special episode. Because this is it. And yeah. So, away with that, let's get to what I like to call... A little extra special. Now instead of doing just the bumper part, I eat a cookie. Gonna try starting up a new tradition here. Uh, so, in the news... So, in the news, we have... You can now donate to Dashnet using the following URL, which is a PayPal link, so I'll have that in the show notes. And even more in the news, we have a crap load of updates, mainly for April, but including Rambo, the um, Valentine's Day update, which happened about two months ago. So, the lovely Rambo Collapse, which was released on February 14th, 2014. So there's a new building, which, oh, you won't be able to see. Uh, let's see. Well, video version, people won't be able to see it, and neither will others, but, oh yeah, it was a prism. A prism or something like that, and there's more to come. You can now trigger seasonal events to your heart's content. So... You can switch to the Christmas season using the Christmas tree. The You can use the ghostly biscuit for Halloween. Um, for a lovesick biscuit, which is Valentine's Day. And actually that is about it. Although I also have a gingerbread man who would cost me quite a few quadrillion cookies. So I'm not going to go for him. Also, an ultra expensive. Expensive batch of seasonal cookie upgrades you'll love to hate. New timer bars for golden cookie buffs, which in the video version again you can see right here. It's running, it's running, it's running. 
Buildings are now hidden when you start out and appear as they become available. So that'll mean they're no longer um, faded out, I suppose you could say. In technical stuff, your game is now saved through local storage instead of browser cookies. Therefore, running a perfectly good pun. And I can so agree with that. I am a sucker for puns. Fooling around April 1st, 2014. It's about time Cookie Clicker has turned into the much more realistic Cookie Baker. And in the VV, you can see it's all about the money. And seasonal triggers are cheaper and properly unlock again when they run out. Buildings should properly unlock as well. Reminder, it is completely cosmetic and does not change the gameplay. So don't expect it's gonna do much for that part. April 5th is Pity the Fool. Wrinklers should now be saved so you don't have to pop them every time you refresh the game. You now properly win one cookie upon reaching 10 billion cookies and making it on the local news, which I've already passed that point. Miscellaneous fixes and tiny additions added a few very rudimentary mod hooks and I cannot find out what rudimentary means even though I have a dictionary app in my browser the game should work again in Opera so there you go Opera users even though pretty much I don't I really don't know anyone who uses Opera no offense meant but pretty much all the people I know use either crappy Internet Explorer Chrome or Firefox even though recently Firefox got under fire because their CEO, well, former CEO was homophobic, but I won't be getting into that. That's not cookie clicker. Don't forget to check out Random Gen as well. Our all-purpose random generator maker. And I'll show you a video version people's uh, little look at this. If it'll load, as you can see, my browser takes a long time to load. So here you go. You can read it for yourself. And back to Cookie Clicker. Quality of life, April 9th. So this was yesterday. New upgrade and achievement tier. Pop-ups and prompts are much nicer. And as you've seen before down here, they are... Like right there. It no longer... It has a border and the icon. So it's much more improved. Tool tips on buildings are more informative. So there you go. Right there. I can't really click on it. Otherwise it'll um, zoom out or whatever on me. Implemented... A Implemented a simplified version of the frozen cookies add on short formatting. So, as you can see here, no longer does it have a huge frickin' list of numbers. It's got quadrillion, trillion, billion, million, so on and so forth. I'm not so sure about million though, but I suppose we can check that out in stats. So we've got quadrillion, billion, quadrillion, that's about it. Probably because I have played too much of this game. But it's all so fun! And, whoops, I clicked on the wrong tab. Even, even in my show notes it says updates. I cannot believe I clicked the wrong one and the whole time I have a link to it in the show notes. And you can buy 10 and sell all of a building at a time. So, as you can see here, you can buy 10 and or sell one or sell all. Except I would never do that. And actually, I have a strict rule for myself even that I'm not to sell any of my buildings. Tons of optimizations and subtler changes. And you can now convert your cookies to cash, and I do not believe this actually converts your in-game cookies. But, um, let's see. Five. Yeah, that's about one. 
How about... Oh, are you gonna reset for me now? Nope, okay. But I've tried huge numbers in there and it's... I don't think it's changed my number of cookies and cookie clicker at all, so... I don't think it affects the game at all. It's just for fun. And then the latest update, Nightmare in Heaven! Dun dun dun! April 9th? So yesterday, got another update. Broke a thing. Heavenly chips were corrupted for some people, and we'll probably update the slash beta first in the future, which you can try right here, or just add in slash beta here. Which I'll also be showing that off in the, well, I'm not sure if I will have it in the video version or just a standalone episode. And he apologizes again with sorry again. And so, some spots where you can, um, in terms of bugs and updates and stuff. What's next? More dungeon stuff, more buildings and upgrades, revamping the prestige system, which I honestly still don't really know what that is, and the mobile app, which I really do anticipate seeing that because I'm sick of seeing the crappy ripoff version. And he's currently working on prestige, getting back to the mobile, vi mobile version, prettying it up, and more customization options and you can donate to the game and in terms of other stuff that is about all I won't get into his or will I let's see what's on his Twitter and Tumblr before we leave the time machine wah, 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 wah. so he posts a YouTube link on his Twitter and he talks about the newest update. So one of his tweets is to Peter Molydew, which from now is 22 hours ago. That's actually been happening with Cookie Clicker. I started it as a quick joke. Now I see people logging in for more than a thousand hours. So how about that for something? It's a, it's just it's not quite Flappy Bird, but nearly there. You could. Maybe say, I don't know. But that is all for this segment. And to finish it off, let's end it with a big... Mmm. Mmm. Right. Um. Make your wish. This is the generator. So, in the generator this week, as usual, I just took something off the forums actually two things in which we have a new building which is a computer suggested by a lutic and this guy's not to be confused with captain sparkles but sergeant sparkles comes up with hold down to upgrade so as soon as this sucker loads up so the new building the computer a lutic suggests that it costs about 68 billion and gives 33 million cookies per second with the cold people are now playing cookie clicker and other details I'll just leave you to read out and apparently no no this is not old or is it maybe it is I don't know looks more like the time he joined but that is that. And uh, hold down to upgrade by Sergeant Sparkles. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person that likes their upgrades and doesn't like clicking the cookie and so on. So his main idea is instead of repeatedly clicking like that, if you can hear that, I'm not sure if you can, but instead having it just and then, so, whether there be maybe an upgrade for that, which in my opinion would be more fitting than just um, having, or, or even some kind of consequential long click, but 
just making it completely irrelevant. Um, I don't see it as anything great. And as you can see here, I just unleashed a cookie chain. Can I get another? Yep. Can I get another? Yep. Can I get another? Ooh, trillion. Can I get into quadrillion? Let's see. Um, no. Okay, I think I completed the cookie chain. But, f furthermore, from around the cookie verse, we don't have anything. So, we're actually skipping that segment this week, or month, or whatever have you. And, before I move to the beta to show it off, and show my very first experience in it. Welcome to the Cookie Clicker Beta. This is version 1.037 beta. So it's actually pretty far behind the official version which I just clicked into. And so we click the cookie and a few new ones appear. So actually, without further ado, um, yeah, let's see what we have here. I don't think it's really much different. Oh wow, it has not been updated. It really has not. But, hey, if I can get to the dungeons, I'll maybe show those off. But, in any case, I thank you all for watching, and before we close up, I have a couple things to talk about. So, if you are interested in helping out with keeping the show a bit more active, go to bit.ly slash tcc helper, and fill out the form there about what you might be able to help with. I think there's also stuff for Blaze on Nation as well. Um, bit.ly slash ender dash radio, it is a, um, an internet radio station of mine for Minecraft themed music called Ender Radio, and it's hosted by iRadio, which I thank you guys so much for having such an awesome service, and feel free to check that out, and fill some, a uh, your day with my, with, with, Music from your favorite Minecraft YouTubers. And lastly, do you love shopping on Amazon? Well, bit.ly slash blazamon, that is B-L-A-Z-A-M-O-N. And you can buy whatever you like, doesn't matter, gaming, um, other products. And referral credits from your purchase will go towards supporting the show. So, if you do any of that stuff. I thank you so very much for your kind support. And don't forget to play Cookie Clicker for yourself right here. Right here. And I will see y'all next time. Possibly. I don't know. And let's end this thing with a bang. This is JBJ Blaze tuning out. And until next time, keep crunching those cookies. I mean, clicking. Those cookies. Da da da!